Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is BGP tutorial part two. Again, um, we have router A and router B. Uh, nothing changed except for we will create a loopback interface. Uh, for router A, it's going to be 1.1.1.1 slash 32. For router B, it's going to be 2.2.2.2 slash 32. It's still going to be the same AS number, 200, AS 100 for router A, the same network behind it, and the same network for router B. All right, um, again, um, nothing really changed. The same process, we will configure the interface uh, configuration first after the BGP. The only change is that we are now forcing the BGP to use the loopback interface instead of the actual physical interface between these two routers. And then because of that, we will have to add two more uh, router, uh, BGP configurations. One is that we're going to use the update source loopback zero. So what would, what with that command, it forces the BGP to use that loopback when it tries to make connection with um, router B. The same thing for router B when we use the uh, loopback to, to that, to that, to that, to that, to, to talk to router A. And because of that, by default, um, BGP um, um, make their uh, one a single physical hop connection using the physical connection between the two but since we are now using a loopback interface then we then the count now is no longer just one single physical hop count now we have a logical hop from logical interface to the physical interface so we another configuration we need to to add is that the ebgp multi-hop count and in this case, it's just going to be set to two. I'll show that to you guys um, when we're about to make the configuration on both router. All right, let's go ahead and start. Uh, like I said earlier, I or I think I believe I mentioned it that I reloaded both router to erase the previous configurations. All right, so uh, show IP interface brief. Um, there's no more interface configuration. The same thing for router B. All right, let's start with interface configuration. We'll start with router A. All right, interface Ethernet 0 slash 0, IP address, it's going to be 10.1.10.1, 255, 255, 255.0, no shot, exit. And for our loopback interface, it's going to be loopback interface 0. IP address 1.1.1.1, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 5, exit. For our simulated network, it's going to be on loopback, loopback 1. IP address 11.11.11.0, uh, I'm sorry, 1, 255.255.255.0, exit. Show IP interface uh, just to verify. Include up, oh, up. Oh. Show IP interface brief. Include, include up. Oh. All right. All interfaces are configured correctly. First of all, I think I forgot to mention why do we need to use loopback interface instead of the physical interface when we do our BGP pairing. Well, the only main reason of doing this is because loopback interface is always up, irregardless of what's happening on physical interface between the two routers. As long as you have several paths that you can get from router A to router, base, uh, router B. Say, for example, we have like three interfaces for redundancy or for high availability. You have three interfaces interfaces connection between router A and router B. If interface Ethernet 01 goes down, your BGP pairing still up and running because you're no longer using this pair over a physical uh, interface. So that's the only reason why. And it's highly recommended to do the loopback interface instead of relying on the uh, physical interface. It's something to think about in practical. All right, so let's go ahead and configure router B. Uh, e zero zero IP address. Um, it's going to be ten dot one dot ten dot 
2.35.25.25.0. And now we will shot exit. And let's go for loop x0. That's going to be 2.2. Dot two dot, uh, IP address. 2.2.2. 2 dot 2 dot 2 uh, 2 b 5 dot 2 b 5 dot 2 b 5 dot 2 b 5 Exit for our simulated network. It's going to be in loop back. It's going to be in loop back 1. IP address 22.22.22.1. 22 2.5.2.5.2.5.0. And show interface. Show IP interface brief. Include. All right, now uh, we're we'll go ahead and uh, configure the BGP. Let's start with router eight, router uh, BGP one hundred. So first, we'll set neighbor neighbor one uh, two dot two dot two, and it's going to be from remote AS two hundred. And then remember earlier I mentioned that there's going to be two more configuration that you need to make this work. And this would be the update source loopback and also the EBGB multi hop. All right, so neighbor 2.2.2 update source uh, loopback. The loopback that we are going to use is the loopback zero. So, so, so what this command uh, essentially uh, means is that. It's forcing the BGP to make the peer connection over loopback zero. So every time it's trying to talk to router B to pair with router B, it's going to use loopback zero, which is which has an IP address of 1.1.1.1. And then since we're pairing, and since we're using the loopback interface, that means that we have twice. So the first one is like the packet leaves from router A is going to have the physical interface and then after that, it's going to help two to get to the loopback two. So second help. So in this time around, we need to add EBGP multi hop two. If you don't put that in there, it will not work. So neighbor 2.2.2 EBGP multi hop count to two. And let's do the same thing for R, RB. Um, all right. So Figure router BGP 200 neighbor 1.1.1. It's from remote AS 100 neighbor 1.1.1. I said that A, every time I, I talk to uh, router A, I want you to use this loopback, which is update source loopback uh, zero. And then since we're using the logical interface, that means that we are, there's going to be two hop. So you also need to use this EBGP, sorry, EBGP multi hop count to two. And now let's go ahead. So I know there's going to be a problem here, but I just want to show what could go wrong um, by doing this show IP uh, BGP summary. And then the state is going to be idle. So obviously we know from the previous um, uh, video that if we see idle or active, that means that there's a problem. It could be the routing, physical interface, or the BGP configuration. But we, I know for a fact that right now we can't even ping 1.1. I'm sorry, 2.2 from router A. And the reason, the reason is that we don't have a route to it. And it's, this is going to be an easy fix. All we got to do is um, do a static route um, to point to router uh, to router B. So from router A, we'll go ahead and create that static route. Here, IP route going to 2.2.2. I want you to go, and that is a slash 32. I want you to go to 10.1.10.2. The same thing for router B, because we don't have a hop going back to router router A to reach um, loopback 1.1.1.1. So we'll create a static route here. Excuse me. Hyper route to reach 1.1.1. .1 .1. I want you to 
go to the next hop, which is 10.1. And so now we should be able to, as a matter of fact, the neighbor is up, but just for sanity, I mean, for consistency, if you will, I'll just go ahead and ping. So now show IP uh, BGP uh, summary. The neighbor is up, but we're not getting any prefix. It's just a matter of basically um, advertising those network in our um, in our BGP table so that you get advertised or sent to uh, to to router B from router A and vice versa. All right, the same thing for router B. Let's do this. Show IP uh, BGP summary hasn't received any prefix yet, but the neighbor is up. So in this case, I will go ahead and uh, uh, configure. Uh, but before we start advertising our um, our, um, our our network into BGP, let's go uh, capture some of the packets here and see how these two um, routers talking over each other or how are they communicating. Uh, they're using a TCP 179. So we'll do capture really quick. Let me capture that. Open Wireshark. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and start router BGP 100 and 11, 11, 11, 0, mask 255.25.25.0. The same thing for um, router B. Uh, router BGP 200 network 22.22.22.0 mass 25.255.255.255.0 and and then let's go check the uh, the BGP table for router A show IP BGP all right we haven't gotten the uh, update from router 2 so uh, we'll see let's do that okay we got it now all right so um, one thing I want to bring up I'm gonna stop this and there you go so all right for BGP as I mentioned like let's let's click on this one as I mentioned uh, they communicate over TCP a uh, port source port 179 and this message is actually an update. Everything, every from update to keep alive, as you can see from here, they're all using TCP BG, uh, uh, TCP uh, 170, uh, 179. The same thing for this also, 179 destination. That's to keep alive, it's making sure that the peer is still alive. And the update message is that I believe that's when we, yep, is the network layer, which is reachability information. That's when we start advertising the network from router. And this is coming from router A, 1.1.1, uh, to towards router B. And then later on, when we activated the, uh, when we start advertising the network from two, the network 22.22, .22, and this is the, also the update that we got. So that's it. Remember, uh, loopback interface is very important, and I would highly recommend you use that. I'll see you in the next video.